configuration instead of programming. Wago provides comprehensive templates which include ready-made system macros for many common applications. This time-saving convenience minimizes HVAC configuration for users. After rapidly configuring the application, the ready-made application can be directly commissioned. A system macro consists of various function blocks that are linked to one another to enable the control of an entire ventilation system, for example. The manual override function within the system macros allows the operator to override individual system parts using the visualization screens. The various function blocks are compiled in the Building HVAC Basic Library. The current Building HVAC 03 is available in the download area under Libraries BA. As a first step, load the 00 Libraries BA and HVAC System Macros files from the download area and copy them to a folder. All of this must then be placed in the HVAC Master folder. The example HVAC Macro number 5 has been selected for this task. The system macro suitable for the system configuration and the function description is selected at the beginning of the procedure. Ventilation macro number 5 basically consists of a cascade control with a plate type heat exchanger and a fan with a frequency converter, external dampers and exhaust air dampers with optional end position monitoring, manual override in the software and a startup mode. Plate type heat exchanger. If the outside air temperature is higher than the exhaust air temperature, switchover is made to maximum energy reclamation in order to save on cooling energy. Antifreeze function. Monitoring of the anti-icing sensor mounted behind the heating element. If the antifreeze protection is triggered, then the outside and exit air dampers are closed, the fans are switched off, and the control valve for the heating element is opened. Filter monitoring. Differential pressure monitor for fan filter contamination, speed control of fans. The assignments for the requisite inputs outputs are already provided in the HVAC application note. A system macro basically consists of the function block display, system visualization, and configuration visualization sections. The entire system functions as follows in CodeSys. After CodeSys is started, the system switches to the library manager and loads the building HVAC library. The graphics are then imported from building HVAC 03. To conclude, the ventilation macro is then imported. Here, ventilation macro 5. It is shown on the left that the function blocks have been imported as required. At this point, generation of actual program can begin. To do this, switch to the function block tab at the bottom and begin with a new program function block. In the example shown here, the program function block is called PRGRLT1. The programming language is changed to CFC Graphic Programming. Now you can place the module at the required position and select the function block based on the imported file. After this, the entity is declared. In this case, the same name is used and work begun with the physical inputs and outputs part. In the example shown here, all that remains to be done is place the inputs on the left side and the outputs on the right side. The dialog window can be closed when all of the inputs and outputs have been linked, after which you can continue with visualization. Two areas have already been prepared for visualization, a graphic area and the configuration area. The procedure begins with the graphic area. A visualization element is loaded there and the corresponding macro integrated. The display resolution is set to the default size and this all arranged centered on the screen. After this, you need only to assign the corresponding wildcards. When you use the wildcards, you must ensure 
that the corresponding function blocks are inserted with the correct name. In the example shown here, FB Fan Macro 5. The configuration visualization is created next. For this, a visualization element is used and positioned. The configuration visualization selected from the macro, a fixed size set, the graphic placed as appropriate, and the wildcard replaced by the program. In this case, two wildcards must be replaced. First, the complete parameters for the system, and second, as previously, the function block. Here again, it must be ensured that the correct names are selected. To finish up, the entire project can now be set to simulation, the program code compiled, and in-depth testing performed. To simplify programming, there are a multitude of pre-configured function blocks and applications available free of charge in the download area. In addition, there are templates for creating programs, including functional system macros with the appropriate documentation. These can also be tailored to meet individual system demands.